Bunyan with Julian on the brown note and the federal ICAC. So it was announced that that might be pushed back to next year because of the Queen's death and the fact that they've taken so much time off from Parliament. Um, firstly, Parliament should be more days than normal people work, not less. Um, the, the, the amount of sitting days in Parliament, given that they continually use it for a justification for not leading the country and passing legislation, if they've done all of their homework, fair enough, they haven't. They continually use the number of days left in Parliament for an excuse for not passing bills. I would say that the most important job of government is government. And they're saying that they can't do enough governing because they don't have enough days to sit down. This is crap. This should stop. This, the, the amount of sitting days under Scott Morrison was a travesty. Um, and they continually used it to to say that, you know, we, we can't pass any legislation at all. Now, Anthony Albanese, you will be defined by the ICAC. This is your defining fail or win. Either you pass the full ICAC with teeth and retrospective powers like you promised us, or you will be another handmaiden, a these Labour governments that pretend to be likeable versions of the Liberal government are the crumb maidens. They are the people that let us down the most. We know that the other side is evil and wants to destroy us. But if you can't even do... I, wasn't, I didn't go to the ballot box in May being given an opportunity to vote down negative gearing, to vote down franking credits, to vote down tax cuts... To the rich, because Anthony Albanese, in what was a failed attempt to get elected, he was failing to get elected, having dropped all those policies and got elected because Scott Morrison was engulfed in a year and a half of scandals and the public turned on Scott Morrison. That's why he got in. And he didn't need to abandon those policies, even though the press went for the jugular with Bill Shorten because he abandoned all those policies. He, sorry, he, because he promoted all those policies, action on negative gearing and franking credits and tax cuts and stuff like that. They made sure that he never got in. The press will always make sure that the Labour that is actually real Labour will never get in. So Anthony Albanese, I was given one reason to vote for you. The federal ICAC. Let's tear apart the corruption that has gone on for the last 10 years under the Liberal Party, the cronyism, the gravy train, the looking after your mates, appointing probably God knows how many Pentecostals into various positions, appointing all your buddies into overseas, you know, tenures as ambassadors and trade envoys on half a million dollars a year. Let's pull apart the whole scheme. You owe us, Anthony Albanese. Don't you dare ever come back to us and say that you are offering us a watered down or delayed version of the ICAC because I will never forgive you. I would support you being rolled, even though that would be playing back into the handbook of Rudd Gillard Rudd. The, you have one thing that you stand for, and that is the federal ICAC with teeth and retrospective powers and in soon. You will have all of the Wally Dallies in the world telling you not to dwell on the past Dwell on it. It's for the good of the country. We need to tear this system down for the good of the country. Look at the damage it's done to Australia. We are known as one of the most corrupt first world countries. You owe us an ICAC. Don't you dare even think for one second, no matter if you lose your job over trying to push the ICAC through, you owe us the federal ICAC.